My name is Ron Gilbert, and I put Lucasfilm in 1990. I did this little game called Monkey Something, Monkey Island. Monkey Bladders! It's Monkey Island! Back in the day, when adventure games were really in their prime, they were mostly fantasy games or RPGs, and Monkey Island took a different approach. I just wanted to create something the market's going to like, and it's going to sell a lot of copies, but I did not want to do fantasy. And that's when I kind of hit on pirates. X marks the spot! <laughs> Monkey Island is about a guy named Guybrush, and he travels deep in the Caribbean to this place called Melee Island. We don't know where he came from, we don't know how he got there, he just kind of appeared. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. That tells you everything you need to know about that character. And what did you say your name was again? Guybrush Nosehead. Froomweed. Thriftweed. Spice cake. Call me Squinky. <laughs> There's the three trials that he has to undergo. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. <laughs> There's a little love story going on. Let's go to your place. Finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. The Secret of Monkey Island it was probably the first game that I played that made me laugh out loud. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. That alone made it a completely unique experience from anything else. Whoops. The reason why adventure games flourished for so many years is largely due to Monkey Island. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And don't forget to write. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition is a faithfully reimagined version of the classic 1990 PC game. You just don't know when to quit, do you? The biggest challenge in recreating the game was convincing people it was a good idea. It's nearly 20 years old, it was 256 colors. When we were doing things, Monkey Island, I think, at its height, it was like five people working on the thing. We didn't have storyboards that had to be built, and a whole CGI machines had to get geared up. It was a lot easier to come up with something funny. <laughs> and then just run back to our desks and program it in. It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. We took a look at all of the art, all of the characters, and we said, how do we bring this back to a new audience? Okay, maggot, whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Our first start was to take this 8-bit medium and faithfully re-envision the sets and live up to what the fans would expect. It's all becoming clear. I really wanted that classical animation feel, so we went in there and hand-painted over 100 layouts. Over a 10 or 11 year span, the character really evolved. I really wanted to develop the character of Guybrush. We did quite a few development sketches of him in different ways, one of them being with the captain's jacket. We even did some sketches of him with the beard. Said, hey, what would Guybrush look like as an old man? Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. We went back and looked at the audio, and the special effects, and the music. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. I was taking these old bleeps and bloops. And then I had to re-record everything for a current generation, as well as being faithful to fans of the game from 20 years ago. One of the big things was to make sure that there were as many live players as possible. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. This is Dominic Armato as Guybrush Threepwood, take 452. We've gone back and for the first time added brand new recorded dialogue with the original cast from The Curse of Monkey Island. We immediately knew that we wanted Dominic Armato back as Guybrush. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood and I want to be a pirate. Dominic can best be described as the ultimate Monkey Island fanboy. You keep hoping after a while, you hope, oh, the next one's going to come. I, I can't wait to do the next one. And after about six or seven years, it's like, okay, I'm just, I've given up all hope. It's never coming back. And then get the email one day, it's like, hey, Give me a call, something's going on. It's like, yes, it's coming back. Worf, Aruf, Worf, LeChuck. Great, we got it. He knows every little detail and pretty much knew all the dialogue just because he loves it so much. Perfect. You see what I'm saying? It's because he knows the right. game so well. He just knows what's going on and he just nails it. Is that a banana in your pocket or are you just glad to see us? The game started with a point-and-click interface with the mouse, and making it something that people could play on a controller was the biggest challenge. The interface filled almost half of the screen, so we removed that and put it in the background so it would work well on any platform. We just couldn't say no to anything, like if it's cool and, and the game deserves it, we just like, it's got to go in. I'm gonna put you up against 
the machine. Yikes. Back in the day, we'd play the game until we got stuck, and obviously there was no internet uh, to help us along. Gee, I don't know how much longer I can hold my breath. We didn't want people to have to break the experience, so we created a hint system integrated directly into the game. Well, that wasn't so hard. The most significant feature is the ability to press a button. No, not the red button. And switch seamlessly from the new version to the original version. I have love for the Bricky Pixels. You can jump back and forth and it's pretty cool. We built our game on top of the original code. Don't touch anything! It is identical to the classic version of the game that we released. I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition is a gateway to so much of the history of gaming. This is the game that made me want to be a game designer. When I joined Luca, it was always in the back of my mind that this is the company that made the game that, that I loved since my childhood. It's a fresh new face on this fantastic classic, and I'm jazzed, man. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I was, like, totally blown away by how completely pure it has remained to the original game. You're supposed to open that little door! If you've got the guts. I think this will give a lot of people a great opportunity to experience that. <laughs> I don't believe it. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You are a brave man after all. I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Oh, Guybrush.